What's going on, Nighthawk Nation? I'm J. Cole, and this is Nighthawk News. Thomas University softball team competed against the Mariners of number 10 Coastal Georgia as the Nighthawks dropped game one, 0 to 2, before winning game two, 12 to 6. The green and white turned around Tuesday afternoon and went toe to toe with Coastal for a late surge, but dropped game three, 2 to 5. TU will have a road trip this weekend playing Kaiser University for a three game series with the first pitch scheduled for 2 p.m. on Friday. With weather destroying, Barnardale Stadium baseball was forced to play its home series against Ave Maria at two different venues over the weekend. And Vidalsa Friday, the Nighthawks were in position to score walk-off runs in game one before Luis Torres' pop-up fly sealed a 12-11 win for the Jarrings. After an 8-4 defeat in game two, the Nighthawks played the final game at Thomas County Central High School the next day falling 12-2 in seven innings. TU is back on the road this weekend as the Nighthawks face USCB in a three-game Sun Conference series. Outdoor track and field continues to hot streak as the Nighthawks competed at the annual Alice Coachman Invitational this past Saturday. Freshman Jaqueem Evans took first place in the men's high jump, notching a new personal and school record of 1.98 meters. Freshman Rachel Garrison took seventh place in the women's hammer throw, notching a new personal record of 32.75 meters. The Nighthawks will just have one more chance to qualify for Sun Conference Championships this Saturday at the Barry Invitational hosted by Barry College in Rome, Georgia. Winning in West Palm Beach is much sweeter when the game-winning touchdown is scored in the final minute, and that's exactly what flag football did Thursday against Kaiser, as a Shelby Hartley pass and Akira Brown gave TU a 19-18 win over the Seahawks. On defense, Janae Scott recorded 10 flag pulls and a 48-yard interception return for a touchdown, landing her Sun Conference defensive honors for the second time this season. Thomas returned home this week to host Florida Memorial for a 4 p.m. contest on Thursday. That's all for now. As always, Make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Team Nighthawks. For stories, stats, and other announcements, make sure to check out our website at TUNighthawks.com. I'm Jennifer Coleman, and we'll see you back here for more Nighthawk news.